Warning. This product may cause increased altitudes, more airtime, more cross-country miles, jaw-dropping awesomeness, record-breaking flights, competition trophies, thoughts of world domination, and a large permanent grin. Use at your own risk. This is the pre-flight briefing for Practical Exercise 12, Thermal Search Pattern 1. This exercise is intended to follow the lecture titled Finding Near-Miss Thermals, a lecture that discusses in much greater detail than this pre-flight briefing will when, how, and why to use this exercise's search pattern. At this point, you've practiced thermal centering in a variety of thermals, drifting source, stationary source, and varying widths, strengths, and turbulence levels. Now it's time to start practicing finding thermals. And you'll start by practicing a thermal search pattern that's helpful for finding a thermal you almost flew into but didn't. Not enough to make your Vario beep anyway. In this brief exercise, you'll practice this thermal search pattern in calm air and then use flight analysis to see how well you did. Here's a flight track playback at about three times actual speed of a successful attempt of this exercise. The purpose of this exercise is simply to prove that you can fly this search pattern reasonably well. The practical exercise procedure handout will walk you through your first flight of the pattern with detailed step-by-step -step instructions. But on your next attempt, it will simply tell you when to start, leaving you to fly the rest of the pattern on your own. Use the PDA, the compass, or both to judge your amount of heading change in Condor. I use only the compass and recommend that you do the same because using the compass lets you fly the most accurate patterns possible. In real life, especially if you fly hang gliders or paragliders, you may find it easier to orient yourself relative to visible lines on the ground, like roads or ridges. This is pretty difficult to do in Condor though, so for Condor flying, just use the compass or PDA. Whether you use the PDA or the compass, note your heading just before each turn, and make sure to level out when headed in the desired direction. To pass this exercise, the largest distance between any part of either outer leg of a pattern and the original track in the middle of that pattern must not be more than double the smallest distance between any part of either outer leg and the original track in the middle of that pattern. This is simply a measurable way of saying that the three main legs of the pattern must be fairly evenly spaced and roughly parallel. This concludes the pre-flight briefing for Practical Exercise 12, Thermal Search Pattern 1. Relax, have fun, and good luck.